Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and in this video, I'm going to be talking about that how can you really speed up your VLOOKUP when you're dealing with a large data set. Now, let's just take a look at this data set that I have here. So if you just uh, scroll down uh, till the end of this data, we approximately have about 100,000 rows of data. And the first column here contains any unique code. Uh, this could be any of your unique values through which you search uh, in the VLOOKUP. And this is the random value that you have to fetch. This is your data. What you have to do is, uh, these are the codes that are already present here and you have to find out the approximate match, this random value for this code here. Now, these are about 10,000 values that we have to run through the VLOOKUP formula, about 10,000 odd values. So you can see that about 9,600. So let's just say that uh, how can we apply an approximate match VLOOKUP to make sure that our VLOOKUP is extremely fast. And then what I'm going to do is after I apply that, I'm going to compare that with the exact match VLOOKUP and let's see which one has a better speed performance. So the thing is that I will write an if formula, if, and uh, I will say that if this value is equal to the VLOOKUP value, I'm trying to search this, I'm trying to search it in the large data set. The column number is one because I am trying to get the same unique code here. And then uh, this is true. Okay, so here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find uh, this unique code and I'm trying to find it in this uh, data set. And the method of search that I have said is one and the column also is one. So this will again give me a unique code, but since this is a true here, this might not give me the exact code. That's the reason why I have compared it with this unique code that I'm trying to find. So if both these are matching, then I want to, and then I want the VLOOKUP to run. So I will say that then please go ahead and run the VLOOKUP. Uh, look it up in the large data, column number two this time, because this time if the value matches with this value, please give me the random value because that's exactly that I'm trying to find. And then it should, it's going to, no, not false, but true. And otherwise, please give me an NA. All right, as simple as that. So if uh, the values are matching, please go ahead and do the VLOOKUP. If the values are not matching, please give me an NA error. That's about it. Now, when I double click on this formula and drag it down to the rest of the cells, take a look at how fast is this, right? And boom, done. Now, we're going to do the exact match VLOOKUP and let's see how much time does that take, which is our standard VLOOKUP formula equals to VLOOKUP, look up what, look up this code, look up in the large data set. Please give me the second column and give me an exact match. So false for that. I'm going to close the bracket, press enter. This gives me two, but when I drag this formula down, take a look at how much time does it take. So as of now, we are on 2%, 4%, 6%, and it's going to take quite some time to do this because this is 100,000 rows of data and this is 10,000 rows of data that we're trying to find through this. Although you might get a difference, different performance if you were working with a 32-bit Excel or a 64-bit Excel, but it is going to take some reasonable amount of time if you're working with a pretty large data set. All right, we're still 50%. All right, what I'm going to do is it's taking far too much time, so I'm just going to skip the video and uh, reach till the end. All right, so we're almost done here, and you can see that um, it has taken quite a bit of time here to do the exact match VLOOKUP compared to the approximate match VLOOKUP. I hope you like this video, and if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this, and uh, you take care of yourselves. Bye.